Hello, welcome to the Curiosity Club. We all know that the 28th United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP28, was held this year in Dubai. The conference has finally reached a consensus to shift from fossil fuel energy towards more environmentally friendly and cleaner energy sources. The conference issued a call for an transition away from fossil fuels, rather than phase out or phase down. This marks the first time such an agreement in 28 years of international climate negotiations. However, when it comes to the methods for achieving this transition, there are divergent opinions among nations. It seems that while there's a consensus on the goal, each country has its own calculations regarding how to accomplish it. The increasing demand for energy by humans is met through continuous technological innovations. Today, let's introduce a technological possibility to address human energy needs. Small modular nuclear reactors. Or to say SMRs. Human history has progressed to a point where our dependence on energy, particularly electricity, cannot be reduced. If we were to eliminate the use of traditional fossil fuels, aside from nuclear power, there's no other green energy source that can fully meet humanity's demand. Green renewable energy sources face a big problem. They're heavily influenced by outside factors like the weather and environment. Take solar and wind power for example. Any changes in the weather directly affect how much energy they can produce. And let's face it, when it comes to supplying energy, we need it to be consistent and reliable. That's a big deal in the energy world. Comparatively, nuclear energy seems to be pretty efficient and has high sustainability. But ever since the Chernobyl disaster in the Soviet Union and the Fukushima nuclear incident in Japan, people have been really wary of it. If there's a leak or accident at a nuclear power plant, the consequences are something generations can't bear. So, recently, there's been a tension on a new energy solution still related to nuclear power but with a different approach in technology and design. It's called Small Modular Reactors SMRs. Small Modular Reactors SMRs, refer to a category of small-scale nuclear fusion reactors. Various types of SMRs may employ different reactor technologies and nuclear processes. In contrast to conventional nuclear power plants, SMRs can generate nearly 300 megawatts of electricity, roughly one-third of traditional nuclear power output. They need less land, making it feasible to install them within factory premises to provide energy. Their modular structure allows for transportation to construction sites for assembly. You might think this is a recently invented innovative nuclear energy technology, but that's not the case. As early as the late 1950s to the 1960s, small nuclear reactors based on light water reactors were used in countries for safety and military projects, such as propulsion systems for nuclear submarines. Let's take a look at the advantages of SMRs. The primary advantages lie in miniaturization and modularization. Thanks to these features, SMRs can be constructed in locations where larger nuclear power plants are impractical, and their transportation and installation are convenient. This serves two main purposes. Firstly, it meets the gradually increasing power demands in certain regions. Secondly, for remote areas where the cost of laying power transmission grids is high, establishing small modular nuclear power plants, whether integrating into the existing local grid or providing independent power, offers a cost-effective choice. Next is the higher level of safety. Compared to traditional nuclear reactors, SMRs feature a simpler overall structural design. Many components, such as the nuclear steam supply system and coolants are housed within a single container. Additionally, SMRs utilize passive systems formed by natural circulation, convection, gravity, and self-pressurization. These designs significantly reduce the occurrence of nuclear leaks and faults. Finally, SMRs are more environmentally friendly, generating less nuclear waste. Traditional nuclear reactors typically require fuel replacement every three to seven years, whereas SMRs have reduced this cycle to one to two years. Some specially designed SMRs can operate for up to 30 years without the need for fuel replacement. Currently, there are several types of small modular reactor technologies. 1. Single-unit light water reactors. 
Currently under construction are China's Linglong-1 project and Argentina's Karam Small Modular Nuclear Energy Project. 2. Multimodule Light Water Reactors. Presently, most are in the conceptual design stage. 3. Mobile or Transportable SMRs. For example, the world's first commercial floating nuclear power plant, the Academic Lomonosov, already operational in Russia. 4. Generation 4 Small Modular Reactors. The recently operational case is Shirdao Bay High Temperature Gas Cooled Reactor Nuclear Power Plant, which is building in China. 5. Micro Modular Reactors. These reactors are designed to operate independently from the main power grid, primarily targeting remote areas. Currently, many of these projects are in the conceptual design and application phases. Among the above, the first and second belong to the light water reactor technology. Due to several decades of global application experience with light water reactors, small modular reactors based on this technology have relatively mature designs, taking roughly 50% of the SMRs under development. In the long run, SMRs using fourth-generation nuclear technology hold considerable potential. Given their higher outlet temperatures and advanced nuclear waste recycling systems, this type of SMRs could potentially find applications beyond electricity generation. However, due to the use of non-traditional coolants like liquid metal, molten salt, gas, and different system configurations in fourth-generation technology, they lack practical application validation and operational regulatory experience. Therefore, they face challenges in regulatory approval. We still hope that technologies could steer us through the uncertainties of tomorrow. Okay, that's what we got of SMRs. See you next time.